You are looking at the seconds leading up to a tragic and fatal wrong way collision on I-17. Traffic cameras catching a driver heading south in the northbound lanes. This one was more centrally located where a lot of our units are, so I think there's at least three units that are shown driving very close to it. Sergeant Eric Andrews says despite ADOT's wrong way driver detection system, it was other motorists who actually alerted DPS. So our first initial uh, notification was through 911 callers saying, hey, there's a wrong way driver. ADOT's detection system has been in place for six years, and the agency reports it has detected hundreds of wrong way drivers. But our analysis of crash data shows the number of wrong way collisions on I-17 stayed fairly consistent. Six in 2019, then five, four, six, and a drop to three last year. ADOT officials tell us the system can reduce the risk, but it can't prevent wrong way driving. DPS officials say their best tactic is DUI enforcement. We all team up with ADOT and with the Governor's Office of Highway Safety for extra funding for DUI saturation patrols and DUI enforcement, uh, but ultimately it comes down to the citizens. In this case, we're not quite sure if alcohol or drugs were a factor. So aside from any kind of DUI enforcement, is there anything else that can be done to cut down on these wrong way crashes or even someone driving the wrong way on the freeway? You know, I'm sure there's engineers out there that are always trying to come up with something new like the flux system, but you'd have to speak to some engineers to see if there's anything else. Unfortunately, that's not what our agency really does. And statewide data shows there really isn't much of a change in wrong way crashes here in Arizona either. So it's tough to really say whether or not this technology, which ADOT is looking to expand across Valley freeways, is actually working. Reporting in the studio, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.